Hello, um, this is Chase, um, and Matthew, we're playing a game, we're doing the, um, player morph glitch, right now, we've just started, as you can see, it's only round six, um, it's a really easy glitch to do, all you need to do is just have one person laying down and another person standing up, preferably in a corner, and when one person jumps, the person on the ground crawls under him, you'll land on his back, and then you can both go into crouch, and your play players will be morphed, and zombies won't be able to hit you. So, here's a demonstration. Just wait. Zombies will come. Just a second. As you can, I'm on the top screen, so just pay attention to the top screen. Hey, um, as you can see, zombies won't be able to hit us. They just like kind of like go into them. You can still, um, you can still kill them while you're in the glitch. And the cool thing is, since we're right here by the mystery chest, we can get mystery chests whenever we want. So, which is pretty sweet. So, basically, if you just stay inside this glitch, you can stay in it for hundreds and hundreds of rounds if you have the time. So, me and Matthew are just gonna be killing some zombies and going through the rounds right now. And I know those nukes and double points and instant kill look very tempting to just run out and get. But if you do, you'll be out of the glitch and you won't be able to get back in. So you have to stay right as close as you can to the person and like don't get out of the glitch at all. Or else you're screwed. So me and Matthew will just be playing and you can see the game plan what it's like. And just a word of advice, if you run out of ammo for both your weapons and don't have enough to, like, buy more weapons, um, if you're next to it, um, you can knife. Don't knife outwards, it, or it will pull you out of the glitch. Knife upwards. Knife straight up. Just like this. It'll kill the zombies. If you knife outwards, it'll pull you out of the glitch. Which is not good. It's only around um, 7 right now, so it's not that intense or anything, but if I if we really tried and we really had the time, we can make it to any round, really, so that's good. It's, this glitch is like one of the easiest glitch glitches you can do in all of Black Ops or um, World at War. So, like I said, all you need, all you really need, is two players and a corner, and some fleshing zombies, which is not exactly required. But <laughs> oh well, um, yeah, you can do it anywhere you want, like. You can do it upstairs, you can do it in the beginning room, you can do it anywhere. Like I said, all you need is a corner and two people and some zombies. But, yeah. really small TV. I want a flat screen, but I'm not going to get a flat screen. Thanks to my mom. And my friend is not even letting me get any kills. Whoops. Yeah, that's Matthew. Usually what is a good thing to do when you're in the glitch is just take your hand off the off the 
left stick. Just take it off, so so that way there's absolutely no chance that you'll accidentally bump it or something and you'll come out. Because if you come out, especially if there's like a huge crowd around you, you won't be able to go anywhere because you'll be crowded in and you'll get down right away. So. Got to get a mystery chest. It's always good to keep your weapons updated with the rounds. Because, like, if you got, like, the gear or something on round 30 or something, not going to do very good. So. You just got to keep it updated. And always have a backup weapon. Like, if, if there's not really a crowd or anything, but if you come out of the glitch... Get out your safety weapon, cause it's not gonna be that good. Like if something goes wrong and you go not get out of the glitch, grab your safety weapon. It's only round 10, but we're still going strong, which is a good thing. And my friend here has got so many points. I got none. It's hard to see, but he has like 4,000 points. And I have like 500. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry, that was my friend. Um, yeah. As you can see, this glitch is pretty awesome. It's an invincibility glitch. Usually other glitches don't make you invincible. Usually other glitches just like give you extra ammo or like buy all the doors or something. Some Something special, yet not special enough. Like, here, this thing makes you invincible. So, that is pretty sweet, I think. But, yeah. Round 11. Yep, only round 11, not that much. The rounds go really slow, I know. But, at least we're killing zombies, and at least we're still going strong. I, I forgot to introduce you to us. I'm Chase. Hello, Matthew. Sorry, my friend's being shy. Um. Sorry, my friend's being really weird. Fine. Hi. Yeah, that's Matthew. He's really shy. I know he's sort of a pussy. Shut up. All right. I'm just gonna re like fix this camera. It's a little. See the whole TV? You good? Yeah, good to go. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's just start back up. Yeah, no, for the other gun. What other gun do you have? Snipers are also really good to have when you're inside this glitch because. They'll go right one, through them. Yeah, it'll go through the zombies and into more zombies and into more and into more. And so more, it'll, more, it'll, more, it'll, more. it'll kill more zombies than like machine guns or something that my friend is using. Machine guns will kill a lot, but as you can see, just one bullet will kill like four or five. For me, I like to get points, so just use the machine guns. Um, listen, it depends on what the, it depends on what you guys like to do. Get the points or get the kills. Matthew likes to get the points, I like to get the kills. So. I know there's machine gun levels out there, so just do this. And Matthew, you don't need to encourage them and change them or whatever. It's my job. If you like kills, use a sniper. If you like points, use a machine gun. I know those like instant kill and double points or something. Like I said, I know it's really tempting, but you just gotta really fight that temptation. Another mystery chest. We 
mean, we're on like round 12. And we're st we're still going strong, as you can see. So. Our friend is just like super mad because he got a sniper. And to make sure that you're inside the glitch, oh crap, like we're out right now and I'm down. See, that's what happens when you get out of the glitch. This is bad, really bad. I think this is game over. This is not good. This is not good. See, that is what happens when you come out of the glitch. That is a no-no. Okay, so. Yeah, I know we did terrible right there, but hopefully you will do better. So, I'm counting on you. Like and subscribe to this video. And we will see you in one of our next glitch videos or something. I know he's trying to be... Oh, seriously, sure. whatever. Yeah, I know, you're scared. This is like your first YouTube video. My first YouTube he's, video. He's like super shy, just so you know. And like and subscribe to this video. Thank you for watching. I highly encourage you to try this glitch out. This glitch will only work on this. Only work on this. If you use this game, do not use this because they have it patched. They patched it in Black Ops. Only use World at War, okay? Only use World at War. So, that's really all we got. I highly encourage you, you all you viewers out there, to go home even though you're probably at home, pop this game in your PS3 or Xbox and play it and do the glitch. And have fun doing the glitch. Yes. See you later.